Yo, 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 yo. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Computer, turn on. Yo, I'm Lord Yukili Osai. I knew Rafa Elohim, Mira Mora El Sadai, Van Kimakashi Goddess. You know what I'm saying? That subconscious satellite, more. You know what I'm saying? Moore's navigator. Navigating into higher states of consciousness, more power, more light, more honor, more more great, more stronger, more more power, more faster, more quicker. That's me, yo. Broadcasting to you from the it verse on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. All right. I want you to be mindful of this. All right. When you when you when you're working on your defensive shields and when you're working on your protecting shields and when you're creating your paradigms, you have to write down all of the possible lists of attacks, ways that people try to attack you, ways in your life. Go back in your in your past, go in the archives and just go go in the archives of your past and look at all of the words that people say against you that affect your emotions that affect self-esteem you know what i'm saying that affect your self-esteem write those words down if they call you small fat skinny ugly pretty um whatever words stimulate emotions you know what i'm saying beautiful whatever words stimulate emotions um trigger words i hate you or come on man you know what i'm saying or dude what's your problem you know what i'm saying Trigger words. Write down all of the trigger words. Write down all of the, the words that they use as a weapon against you when they be like, fucking bitch, or fuck you, or nigger, or cracker, or, you know what I'm saying, spick, or whatever fuck, whatever the fucking words they use against you, whatever shit that, if, whatever somebody's ever used against you, right? Write that shit down. And then what you need to do is you need to come up with a strategy so that you just be prepared so like when they when they come in they call you a nigga that shit ain't no weapon against you in fact that shit will hurt it will help you when they come and call you a cracker this is for the so-called white people when they call you a cracker that shit won't affect you that shit will help you you know what i'm saying you gotta make it so where that shit that they think is a weapon is actually empowering you even further when people call me a nigga or a nigger Guess what they're calling me? They're calling me a sovereign Christ. That's what they're calling me. Because if you do your research, right, you thinking, you thinking, you you going off of the old shit. You thinking that nigga comes from nigger from when they came in to, you know what I'm saying, Niger and seen the, 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 the beings that was there that was dark and melanated and they couldn't pronounce Niger correctly. So they called them niggers dealing with their pronunciation and that's how you got the word nigger which is a der derogatory terminology in reference to um the 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 nigerians the the um, i mean the uh the the beings that were uh native of niger you see what i'm saying and that's what you think and then you think that nigger is also a derogatory terminology that spawned from um um hatred towards um dark melanated beings you know what i'm saying and, and that you know what i'm saying that's dealing with you associate nigger being associated with slavery right and then you get the word nigga and then you take the word nigga and you believe that nigga is a, a derivative uh, a word that that that's a variation from the word uh nigger and that you think the word nigga you know what i'm saying is um is an abbreviated terminology you know what i'm saying that derived from the or or origins of the word nigger and you think that nigga means something cool like it means you know what i'm saying that it means brother or uh what's up folks what's up family what's up and but then you have other beings who still use the word nigger in a negative um um derogatory uh, uh content and they will use the word nigga as a weapon but see you got to go back all the way into the rich the origins of the history of that word nigga came all the way from ancient kemet when you had the ethiopians working hand in hand with the egyptians the so-called egyptians to cradle the first civilization known to man according to his story 
See, we know that Samaria predates Egypt. You know what I'm saying? But when you go back into the archives of the first original story, they say that Egypt was the first established civilization known to man. And they say that Egypt, that's when you had the Ethiopians and the Egyptians working hand in hand to cradle that first civilization. It's the birthplace of the first dynasty. And in the first dynasty, you had, you had so-called man. Because they weren't humans, but they were so-called man coming out of the Stone Age time. That was the end of a time, an end of a cycle, an end of a period, an end of a season. It was the end of an old world, and it was the birth of a new world. Remember I told you, we're out of the old world. We're now in the new world. This is a new world that we're living in right now. On December 21st, 2012, the world did end. Just like when Columbus came, so-called Columbus came over here and discovered the Americas. We know that he didn't discover America because it was Moors already over here, set up pyramids and all kind of different communication schemes all over the world. Moors was already here. The Amix was already here. The Mayans was already here. But he came, he claimed that he came over here and discovered the new worlds. That's what they was calling the so-called America in the old world. It's now called Lord Yukilio Siland, but in the old world, they said that he discovered the new worlds. See, when you talk about worlds, you're talking about the end of a whole period, the end of a whole cycle, a whole season. And on December 21st, 2012, it was the end of a cycle. It was the end of a season. It was the end of the world. It was the end of the world as you know it as being the animal running shit. And now we're in a cycle of the man running shit, which means that it's a more evolved period where you have where you have program stimulating. You have program stimulating. Healing programs and all kind of shit stimulating right now. That's what's going on right now. Programs. Healing programs stimulating. That's what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going on. So um, I want to share with you, right, that it's very important for you to, to know this shit. So when you have men coming out of Stone Age that times, which they was in the caves living very primitive, Neanderthal and all of that shit, you have the Ethiopians and the Egyptians stepping up to cradle the first civilization. It was the birthplace of democracy. And in a sense that they began to, to build agreeable huts and places to live that was more agreeable than living in caves. They began to create laws and elected a pharaoh to govern the people people and to enforce the laws they elected elected a government you see what i'm saying that's the birthplace of democracy this shit all happened in the land that is now called lord ukilio side that you call africa see when you think egypt you think egypt is his own isolated continent but you have to realize beloved that egypt is in the heart of africa that shit ain't isolated from africa that shit is right there in lord ukilio side land you see what i'm saying and so it's very important for you to be mindful that, you know what I'm saying, you had the so-called Ethiopians working hand in hand with the so-called Egyptians to credit that first uh, uh, civilization. In a sense that they began to, you know what I'm saying, develop, create and develop weapons and tools to hunt, domesticate animals for feeding, for clothing, um, to, 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 uh, to toil the soils, to produce agriculture, fruits, crops, vegetables and shit like that. Also, to course the water streams, they begin to irrigate the course the water streams and irrigate water so that they can have a, a, a irrigated water system. They begin to, you know what I'm saying? They begin to, um, they begin to uh, develop alphabet and language and mathematics and science. They was performing open heart surgery back then. That that their their tactics of magic and medicine was way more effective then than it is even now. They was flying, safe shifting, bringing people back from the dead. They had elaborate medicine. In fact, in their mystery schools, they taught people how to fly, teleport, shape shift, run at the speed of light, all kind of shit. They was so advanced back then than they are now. And then in the third dynasty, you had Am Amutap building pyramids and shit. It was off the hook. They science off the was off the hook then. You see what I'm saying? They science was real off the hook then. And when you look at the word nigga, when you thinking that nigga is derogatory, nigga is really meaning sovereign. Those were the sovereign ones. Those were the royal ones. They was proclaimed as being nigga in Ethiopia. They was you was a nigga if you was sovereign. You was a nigga if you was if you was royal. You was a nigga. So when people call me nigga, shit, you ain't doing nothing but adding to my motherfucking energy, bitch. I don't give a fuck about that shit, bitch. You can't call me nothing. 
and think that you can get away with that shit. You just adding energy to me. You call me a bitch. You calling me a god because you're dealing with. Um, when I call you a bitch, I'm calling you. I'm calling you a dog. But when you call me a bitch, you're calling me a god. You know what I'm saying? You're calling me a god. And I ain't even going to give you the signs on that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give you the signs on a lot of shit. But I want you to go back. And I want you, when you begin to, to develop your programming shields. I mean, when you begin to deal, deal with uh, developing programs that's, that are defensive shields or or protecting shields, what you need to do is you need to go back in the archive of your mind and all of your lives and all of your past lives and all of your past behaviors and all of your names and you need to and you need to find out trigger words um, that activate certain programs like fear, anxiety, stress, worry, tension. You need to find, you know what I'm saying, you need to find out what kind of tone sets you off, what kind of tones make you sexy, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, and you need to find out what kind of words that they will use against you. You know what I'm saying? To try to uh, provoke a, a, a certain action or a reaction from you. You know what I'm saying? You need to find out all of those words. If they call you bitch, ugly, fat, yellow, black, white, whatever shit they call you. And then you need to take that and you need to develop a program for that. So if they have, if they, if you're so-called white and they call you cracker or hunky, you need to develop a program so that cracker and hunky don't affect you. And if they're, if you're so-called black and they call you nigga or nigger or even dog or bitch or whatever the fuck, you need to develop a program so that that program don't hurt you. See, I got a dog program too. I got a dog program. I got a, 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 a bitch program. I got a nigga program. I got a black program. Shit, words don't hurt me. Words help me. You see what I'm saying? Words don't hurt me because it's all based on intelligence. It's all based on intelligence. Who, whoever is the most intelligent runs the universe. You see what I'm saying? This is a subconscious thought right here. This is a Nephilim thought. This is a Nectar thought. This ain't got nothing to do with no fake ass shit. No human, nothing, or none of that. I'm a satellite. I ain't a human. I'm a satellite. And it's all about programs. And I'm telling you, if you want to develop the right protecting shields, defensive shields, defensive mechanisms, and if you want to navigate through space and don't get caught up in, in, in certain currents of energy or get ensnared in traps, then you need to have something for their ass. You need to be ready for their ass because they ready for you. So you need to be like a chess player, but you're not playing a, a, a earthly game of chess. You're playing a cosmic game of chess with motherfucking all kind of different entities, aliens, ultra terrestrial beings, uh, extraterrestrial beings, celestial beings, fucking satellites. You're dealing with robots and all kind of different shit. You thinking that you're dealing with humans, man, that shit is over with. It's how many humans left? Come on, man, that shit is over with. You got to wake up and see what's going on and start developing programs. You got to develop programs. I got something for your ass. Whatever you think you can think of to, to provoke an action or a reaction for me, I've already thought of that. I'm like a grandmaster chess player. I got all kind of moves for your ass. If you, if you try to throw out water in reference to getting power, then motherfucker, I will become the water element. If you turn into a wolf, I will turn into wolf bane. If you turn into a snake, I will turn into a honey badger. If honey badgers kill snakes. If you turn into a dragon, I will turn into... You, it's nothing that you can do. You see what I'm saying? Your programs can't affect me because I'm already up on your shit. I'm already prepared for your shit. If you, turn, if you use smoke, I will become smoke. I'm dealing with alchemy. I activated imagination gives birth to infinite abilities. You see what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a master alchemist. Your shit ain't fucking with my shit. You think you can use words like nigga or bitch or punk or fear or all those fake ass words? None of that shit. When you call me nigga, you calling me sovereign. You calling me king. You calling me royal. All you doing is energizing my shit. You see what I'm saying? When you thinking a nigga is a derogatory terminology, that shit don't mean shit to me. I got programs for your ass. When you call me dog, you thinking that you calling me a derogatory terminology. No. When you call me dog, you calling me God. You see what I'm saying? When you call when you call when you call me bitch, you're not calling me, you're not referring to me as being uh 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 that's not a derogatory terminology to me. 
In fact, that's giving me energy. You see what I'm saying? Because bitch deals with the original gods. It deals with it deals with the original gods from the bitch wood order. Where you get the word bitch, you get the word bitch, you get the, you get the word witch, you get the word wick, you get the word witch, witch, wicker, witch, bitch. You not fucking with me. Your programs ain't fucking with me, yo. And being that when I was earthly, I was Scorpio. Scorpio runs the triple goddesses. When you talk about Trinity or uh, times three, so Modi B, or when you talk about Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you're really talking about the triple goddesses of witchcraft. Dealing with running, you know what I'm saying, the uh, the elements of earth. You're dealing with Anu. You're dealing with... Um, you're dealing with Hakati. You're dealing with man. I'm not even finna get into it. You're dealing with the triple goddesses, all right. And those triple goddesses are ran by Scorpio. So when I was Scorpio, I was already running them before I became Mars. Before I became Pluto. You can't fuck with me. Your programs ain't fucking with my shit. When you say bitch, you really calling me God. So you gotta be prepared for their ass. And when you call me bitch, you're referring to me as being the triple goddess. You're referring to me as having power and authority over the triple goddesses that you worship in witch and wicca and witchcraft. So you have to be mindful of these things, beloved. You got to be very mindful of these things. You have to be very mindful of these things and begin to develop programs for their ass. Whatever, whatever you think that they can think of to try to attack you, you got to already have some shit for their ass. So that whenever you interact with these motherfuckers and they try to pull up some shit to affect you, it doesn't affect you. It, it just, it won't affect you. It, it just will not affect you. You got to look at shit like nothing can hurt you. And then you got to go. That's why intelligence, who, when you talk about the elites, you're talking about beings who are enlightened. You're talking about beings who have superior intelligence because that's who runs the world. Who runs the world isn't evil motherfuckers or it's not about good or evil. It's not about none of that shit because good and evil are both programs. It's all about intelligence. Who has the most intelligence? So when you begin to develop weapons against me, then I will look at those weapons and and, and, and look at them, analyze them, dissect them, build them, break them down, build them back up into a weapon that I can use against you. I will create a mirror effect against your ass so that when, so basically when you get mad at me, by you getting mad at me, you're allowing me to get into your energy field. Now, all of the, the time that you get, you think of me, every time that you think of me, every time that you speak about me, you're giving me energy. It's called free energy. This is what Nikola Tesla did, discovered in the 1800s. He discovered free energy. See, I deal with the Anunnaki's. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm incorporated with Anunnaki's and shit. I, I fuck with the Anunnaki's. So I have all kind of superior intel dealing with free energy. So that when you begin to, to, to think about me, cuss at me, whatever the fuck you think you can do to me, you're basically giving me free energy. You're, you're energizing me. And you're giving me easy access into your energetic field. Now, I can come into your art cons. I can take energy from your life. I can create illusions that make your eyes get angry at me. I can create illusions and templates. I can put templates in your mind to where I can say a certain word and activate the template and then that template. See, templates are playback memories. And for every memory, there's a feeling and emotion attached to that memory. And that feeling and emotion determines will. You know what I'm saying? It determines an action. See, I fuck with the neocortex and the limbic part of your brain. So I will fuck around once you get angry at me one time. That's it. Now I'm in your energetic field. You gave me free energy and you also gave me a free pass into your energy field. Now I'm going to place a template in your mind. And a template is a playback memory. So a template is like, it's like, like when you go to this, to, to a grocery store, right? And you, and you going down the aisle when you see fruity pebbles, you, when you, they say that humans Dealing with the human experience, they always relate everything in their presence to their past. They call it, and, and uh, Sigmund Floyd called it in Western uh, psychology, Sigmund Floyd called it the productive art of comparison or the destructive art of comparison. It's like you can go down the aisle of a, of a, uh, of a grocery store and look at a, a fruity pebbles, right? And through the productive art of comparison, you're comparing this, what, this experience in your presence with something that took place in your past. So, so you looking at that fruity pebbles, is going to stimulate or activate a template. Now, a template is a is a is an unconscious memory. Templates live in the archives of your unconscious mind. 
and templates are playback memories. So in your presence, you're in the grocery store, presently in the grocery store, but you look at the fruity pebbles and it activates the template and you go into your unconscious mind and you begin to remember the time when you were sitting back with your, with your, with your brother or your sister at the table eating fruity pebbles, arguing who was going to get the prize in the box. You see what I'm saying? And that memory, for every memory, there's a feeling and an emotion attached to it. And you remember feeling the euphoria feeling, the happy feeling, the innocent feeling. You see what I'm saying? And then you said, oh, I like Fruity Pebbles. And that's when you determined in your mind that you will always like Fruity Pebbles. You see what I'm saying? And so when you go and you and you going down the aisle and you see the Fruity Pebbles in the store, you're not buying that Fruity Pebbles because you're seeing it right now. You're using the productive word of comparison. You're comparing the Fruity Pebbles right now with some shit when you was a little kid eating Fruity Pebbles and how it made you feel. So therefore, people begin to purchase things, eat things patronize and all of that shit based on uh, memories based on emotions people buy off of emotions people buy off of templates so so the the next art of of war base is based on unconscious mind is based on the unconscious mind and who has the ability to create templates and then create effective trigger words and, and effective uh, words of power to activate those templates so that you can control the person. So that when somebody get mad at me, I don't give a fuck about what you feel, what you think, what you nothing. I don't give a fuck about your anger, nothing. Get mad at me. Bring it. That's what I say. You want to hate me? Bring it, motherfucker. You giving me free energy because I'm not thinking of you. I'm not worried about your ass. I'm in my own world, in my own life. I'm doing my own shit. But if you worry about me, then you're giving me your power. You see what I'm saying? And that's what happens is when you allow somebody else's behavior, somebody else's thinking, somebody else's speaking, somebody else's shit. When you allow their their behavior to dictate and determine your behavior, then what happens is you give up your power as an individual being and you now become a hostage of that person. So basically, in essence, what, what you're doing is you're creating you're creating scenario after scenario where you become my prisoner. You're just my hostage. You're my slave. You're my prisoner. Whenever you give your energy to me, you're my slave. You're my prisoner because my actions and my behavior is dictating your actions and your behavior. So therefore, I'm holding you hostage and you're my slave. You're my prisoner. You see what I'm saying? And you're not being your authentic self. You're not in your flow of things. You see what I'm saying? So stop getting mad at motherfuckers. Stop even caring about people. Don't even worry about what motherfuckers do. You got to live your life with no worries. You got to live your life not giving a fuck about the next man or the next woman or the next entity, whatever the fuck they are. You see what I'm saying? Because man and woman is extinct. But you got to live your life not worried about the next motherfuckers. You got to just do you. You got to stay in your lane. Because when you start worrying about other people and trying to affect what everybody else is doing, trying to control their shit, then you're losing control. People who deal with power and control issues lack control. And I have my way with motherfuckers like that. Because you can't control me or nothing that I'm doing or nothing, period. I just have my way with motherfuckers like that. You see what I'm saying? And I, I have a way with working with energy in a way to where you're, if you think of me, if you feel any kind of way about me, you're giving me energy. You're giving me your energy. And I'm vapping on your shit. I'm all through your emotional streams and all through your psychic streams vapping your energy, yo. And you power, you're empowering me. And whatever word of power or derogatory program you think that you can use against me, I got something for it. I got something for it. You can't call me black. You can't call me white. You can't call me human. You can't call me... Um, you can't call me nothing. You can't call me shit. You can't call me a bitch. You can't call me afraid. You can't call me a nigga. You can't call me a dog. You can't call me a nigger. You can't call me shit. You call me a nigga. You calling me royal. You call me a bitch. You calling me God. You call me a dog. You calling me a king. You call me black. You calling me sovereign. You can't call me shit. If you call me black, you call it, you bringing up my defensive shields. I got defensive shields every time that automatically go up when you say black. That automatically place your ass in a snare, in a trap. So so therefore, 
I'm attempting to share with you valuable information, yo. You got to come out of that the way of the, the way you think, man. You've been programmed to think that way. And that way of thinking ain't cool. That way of thinking is killing your ass. That way of thinking is destroying you, yo. You got to come out of that way of thinking. You literally have to come out of that mind frame and that way of thinking, yo. You have to. You have to. You know what I'm saying? You have to come out of that way of thinking. So, you know, um, it's very important that you start developing your programs. It's very important that you become mindful of this and and start developing your programs. You got you to gotta take the time to actually sit down. Grab a pen and paper. You got to take the time to sit down. Grab a pen and paper, right? And write down. All of this shit that people think that they can use against you, you got to write that shit down. If somebody call you nigga, you got to write that down. If women, if somebody call you bitch, you got to write that down. Men, if somebody call you afraid, you got to write that shit down. If somebody bring up a racist program, you got to know how to deal with racist people. You got to, don't be afraid. See, a lot of y'all are afraid. You're, you're afraid of dealing with certain situations. So you brush it up under the rug. No, you got to confront situations. You can't be afraid of shit. It ain't, it ain't what you looking at that got to change. It's the mechanism that you use it to look at the shit that you looking at. That's what got to change. You got to rewire your brain. You got to reprogram your mind so that nothing, you can go into whatever realm, whatever dimension, whatever, whatever. And none of that shit affects you. You got to be able to turn on emotions, turn off emotions. You got to be able to, to shut up and shut down. You got to be able to do all kind of shit, man. And you have to be able to do it just like that. You got to be able to go from zero to infinity on their ass in just less than a second. That extreme, you got to be able to jump from zero to a billion on their motherfucking ass. And then go all the way from a billion all the way back down to zero. Just like that, real quick. Like, you know, I might flash on somebody and slap the fuck out of somebody. And they be all the way on the fucking ground. And then I just come back into my regular self and just pull them back up. And they'd be like, where am I? What, what happened? What happened? And I just go and or I might just snap and kill 50 people. I'm a satellite. Yo, certain shit can activate me. I can activate certain shit. Get up and jump out the window and go kill 100 people. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it gets serious. Uh, and it's no conscious dealing with that. I don't have no conscience about shit because I'm not living a human experience like you. I'm not in a, I'm not a human. I'm a subconscious satellite, yo. That's what Moors are. Moors are navigators. They're satellites that navigate through space. They navigate through time. They navigate into different realms, into different dimensions, into different universes. I told you, we're all individual universes in a collective multiple universe. In the multiverse. So you have to be ready for this. You got to be mindful of this. You have to be mindful, man. You got to turn on your computer. You got to turn on your central processing unit. And start activating your... You got to activate your imagination. You got to at least come out of the unconscious mind and start becoming conscious. And then come out of the conscious mind and start becoming subconscious. I tell you all the time. I'm not conscious. I'm not, I'm not, I don't desire consciousness. I don't desire pro-consciousness. I don't desire to be conscious. None of that. I am completely subconscious. I am completely subconscious. I am completely, totally, entirely subconscious. Period. And my programs are better than your programs. My programs are faster than your programs, smarter than your programs, quicker than your programs, Wiser than your programs, more intelligent than your programs. I deal with real intelligence. I deal with pure intelligence in its purest form. I'm not mind controlled. I'm self controlled. So therefore, when 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 these when these when these um when these mind control program handlers when they come around and they sit and they activate they activate their little program mips the little the minions the little minions that they got the little minions that they got to try to create distractions around me. All they're doing is letting me know their latest programs. I'm learning from their minions. When they go around trying to set off sounds and vibrations like keys, 
jiggling of keys, that's sound and vibrations. When they wear certain colors, color schemes, you know what I'm saying, to activate certain pro do you're dealing with a a, 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 su a subconscious satellite. Nothing that you're working is a, nothing that you're using can affect me. I'm up on tones and vibrations. I'm up on colors. I'm up on words. If I do something for you, it's out of charity. It ain't because you want nothing. It's out of charity. It's because I believe that that you might need some energy or you might need this little pass. But you can't say little shit like hey to me or hello to me or excuse me or none of that shit. I know all of those weak ass programs. I know how to avoid all those weak ass programs. I'm not I'm not a bruh. I'm not a bro. I'm not a friend. I'm not I know all those weak ass programs. I know every program. That shit is I got something for you. If I respond to you, it's because I believe that you need the energy at the time. If I respond to you, you see what I'm saying? And that's it. And if I respond to you, it's out of an act of charity. It ain't because you think that you slick. You not slick, bro. I know, I know everything. Intelligence. That's what it's all about. It's all about intelligence. That's who runs shit these days. Intelligent beings. It ain't got shit to do with good and evil. It ain't got shit to do with none of that. It has everything to do with intelligence, yo. And who controls intellectual properties? That's it. Who controls the intellectual properties that you're using? You know what I'm saying? Because whoever designed that software, you know what I'm saying? If that shit ain't being rated upon, then shit, hey, that's some motherfucking good software. No, no, some motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Nah. You can't fuck with me, yo. I'm too subconscious for you. You can't use tr trigger words like come on or nothing like that. I'm I'm Lord Ukili. Oh, side. I'm the builder of greatness. I see all. I hear all. I know all. I'm the very essence of wisdom. You can't fuck with me. I use, I speak in different languages, programming the satellites that's on the moon, programming the satellites that's on the sun. I write in, in magical alphabets and magical sigils. I'm a satellite. I buzz. I got a buzz. I have a communication that's silent. I don't even have to talk to you, yo. I can open up my third eye and send rays of light to your motherfucking ass and zap you with my third eye. I can open up my solar plexus energy right here and just let a whole sun come out and fry your ass. I got a buzz that I can turn on and turn off. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when I walk... I break windows just to break the motherfuckers. The buzz inside of me is buzzing so hard. Nega, 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 one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. Nega, nega, nega. You can't fuck with me. I can send dragons. I can send 50,000 dragons to attack your ass. You know what I'm saying? You can't fuck with me. Yo, I, I send water to, to, to drown you. And while you drown and send all kind of eels to bite your ass. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's. It's infinite different things, man. You know, I got programs, yo. But I'm trying to get you to make the shift in consciousness to come to make your evolution. You're not a human. You got to get way beyond that. Now, I want to talk to you about intellectual programs. I want to talk to you about something called intellectual properties. And then I want you to go and do your research on intellectual properties. All right. Because um, last year, you seen all of the youth that was wearing white T-shirts. They was wearing white t-shirts. You seen a lot of beings wearing white t-shirts. This summer, and, 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 and you're going to be seeing a lot of red t-shirts. Red. You're going to start seeing a lot of red t-shirts. A lot of red clothing. Why? Because red activates program sleepers. The color, the color red activates program sleepers. It activates program sleepers. In fact, they tell you. That police are programmed, the, the, the cops, they're programmed to pull over red cars. They're trained to attack red. That's what they, they're programmed sleepers. And, and red attracts that color. That's why you've been seeing shootings and, and crowds and, and all kind of just stupid ass shit going on. It's because the color red is activating programmed sleepers. And they brought in this color red, that how they ushered it in is when the, when the Pope did the red robe ritual. It's called the Comedia Three Three Hundred. It was a seven-day ritual where they was wearing the robe, the red robes. Remember that? And they had that shit on the news, 
and, and everywhere you turned, it was the Pope, and he had the it was the it was the it was the the, the red robes. It was three. It was it's called the Committee of Three Hundred. Nega 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 three 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 nega 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 four four four. It's called the Committee of Three Hundred, and they was all wearing red robes, and it was a seven day ritual that they was bringing in. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the people was going to start wearing the color red this year. They was letting you know that right there when they did that committee of red robes uh, ritual. It was a seven-day ritual. Now, the black robes are underneath the committee of 300, and the white robes, the white robes are the so-called Illuminati. All right? The red is the color of the root chakra, and they say that EOF transmissions transmit when your root chakra is open up. To implant messages, suggestive messages. This is how it works. They want to open up your root chakra dealing with sexuality because much of the programming happens through sexuality. A lot of MK Ultra Mind Control programming takes place through sexuality. The color red. It opens up, it stimulates, it's dealing with the root chakra and it stimulates sexuality. And through sex, you know what I'm saying, sex, you know what I'm saying, opens up EOF transmissions. You know what I'm saying, that opens it up. And then imp and then it opens you up to, to, to implants of, of suggestions and all kind of MK Ultra Mind Control trigger programs and shit like, um, 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 Monarch programs and, and, and new, you know what I'm saying, programs. Sex. Sex. And you're going to start seeing a lot of beings wearing the color red. Why? Because the color red, it, it, it triggers program sleepers. Listen, that's why they put, they, they that's why they created Crippin' Blood in North Daniel and Sudanio and different gangs like that. Because they, was, they wanted the communities, they was programming your ass with the program of red and with the program of blue. That, so you need to be mindful of this. Every time you see the color red, you need to be mindful of the activities that's going around you. You need to be mindful of this. Crip, blood, all of that. Uh, uh, North Daniel, Sunayu, that's all programming. That's all programming. All of that is programming. This is all dealing with the satellites that's on the moon and dealing with the satellites that's on the sun. Just like when they talk about they so-called killed Michael Jackson. Listen, Michael Jackson is not dead. That's one thing I want you to know. He's not dead. But when they so-called killed Michael Jackson, right, they said, oh, they killed him because he owned all of the publishing rights to the Beatles. He owned all of their songs. Now, listen, I'm going to give you some real knowledge right here, beloved, because I love you and I want you to survive. All right. Now, the Beatles came out of the um, the Tabistock Institute and the Tabistock Institute deals with uh, uh, mind control programming. The Tabistock Institution was a mind control programming institution. And they have produced a song called Helter Skelter. Remember that? They produced a song. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Remember that? They produced a song called Helter Skelter way before, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, before, you know what I'm saying? Um, 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 Charles Manson had went around killing uh, white people in an attempt to start a race war. So Michael Jackson had went and he bought up all of the rights and all of the publishings to the Beatles songs. He had all of the, the Beatles material dealing with dealing with intelligent properties, dealing with intellectual properties. He built he what he did was he bought up all of the rights, all of the publishing rights and all of the rights to all of the Beatles materials. And he owned all of their publishing rights. Michael Jackson, in essence, controlled intellectual properties and was saving. Listen, Michael Jackson saved the population of the so-called Earth from more killings, from 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 so much killings, from from more killings, from from more sickness, from more illness, from more all kind of attacks. Than you can ever imagine because he wouldn't allow those songs to be produced in certain different venues, dealing with commercials, dealing with, you know what I'm saying? And then he went back and he re and he redid those songs. So remember that song, Come Together Right Now Over Me. Shakana, doo -doo 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 -doo. Shakana, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's an original Beatles song. 
that Michael Jackson later came and redid. That song is full of all kind of programming. It's full of all kind of programming. Listen, when they did that song, you think of Charles Manson and you think that this motherfucker was crazy and some old kind of weirdo. Charles Manson wasn't no fucking riddle. He was a social butterfly. Way before those, those Charles Manson killings, he was a social butterfly. He went on tour with the Eagles. He went on tour. Listen, he was best friends with the Beatles. He was on tour with the Beatles. This motherfucker knew all kind of popular bands. He come from an upper scale family. In fact, the killings, the, 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 the first lady that they killed, that lady married that bitch, well, that bitch used to buy drugs from the Charles Manson family. So you see the association there. He was mind controlled. He was going around with these motherfuckers. And those, the Beatles was his mind control program handlers. Those was his program handlers. The Eagles was his program handlers. They activated, they uploaded the program Helter Skelter inside of Charles Manson's central processing, using, central processing unit. And then later triggered that program through a psychedelic experience. When he came back from his high, this motherfucker went on a killing speed. And he killed all kind of white people, so-called white people, in his attempt to start a so-called race war. And all of this was dealing with the Palladians. The Palladians was trying to further their agenda of a new world order. The Palladians did that. So Michael Jackson, who, who grew up Palladian, but later broke off from being Palladian and became Anunnaki, but he was dealing with the Dracos for a long time. He was dealing with the Draco store system for a long time, but then he, he later incorporated himself with the Anunnaki's. He, he went back and bought up all of the publishing rights to the Beatles. He bought all that Beatles shit up. And he wouldn't allow the motherfuckers to activate those. He wouldn't allow them to publish those programs. Why? Because the Beatles came up out of the, uh, the Tapestock. They came up out of the Tapestock Institute. And the Tapestock Institute is a British mind control programming institute dealing with MK Ultra mind control programs. The Helter Skelter pro song is a Helter Skelter program. They activate, activated that program in Charles Manson's Central Processing Unit when he was on tour with the Beatles, with the Eagles, and the mother motherfuckers. Then he snapped and went off killing the motherfuckers in an attempt to start a war, uh, 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 in an attempt to start another world war. They wanted to start a, uh, another war, world war, a race war. That's what that shit was about. Michael Jackson was wise. And why you thinking that this motherfucker dead, he ain't dead. But we're talking about programming. We're talking about programming. So last year, you seen all of the youth walking around wearing white t-shirts. You seen them wearing white t-shirts. This year, you know what I'm saying? You're going to start seeing a lot of red. A lot of red in the youth. You're going to start seeing a lot of youth wearing a lot of red. And they're bringing in all of this shit. They, bring, they brought in all of the red. And all of that, dealing with that seven-day Illuminati ritual, dealing with the Pope. When they plugged him in with the sickness before they got ready to retire the first Pope. Remember they did that? They plugged him in with OE Sick, the, the sick program. Then they unplugged him and plugged in this new ritual, the Illuminati. They plugged in the, the, the Committee of 300. That was the red, red rope ritual for seven days. It was in the news. Then when they plugged in the bitch, uh, what's that bitch name? Uh, Nicki Minaj. When they pro, when they when the Illuminati plugged in that bitch, Nicki Minaj, you you see on her when they when she first when she when it, she named her name what, what she called herself she called herself Roman. That's one of her that's one of her alter ego names, Roman. And then the last name of Roman is dealing with one of the motherfuckers that was killed in the Charles Manson killings, Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski, when they plugged in this bitch, when the Illuminati plugged in this bitch, uh, 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 Nicki Minaj, guess what? You see, you see Nicki Minaj when they, when she did the, 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 the ritual at the, at the American Music Awards and she had the Pope coming out with the red, with the red robe. Remember he had the white robe under, but he had the red thing, uh, uh across his fucking chest and across that she was pro she was programming you with the red program then. They plugged in the bitch Nicki Minaj doing the American Music Awards and the Grammy Awards when she did the little ritual and she had the Pope walking her down the stairs. 
the fake pope walking her down the stairs with the red robe on. After that, immediately you start seeing killings, uh, uh, all all kind of killings. You start seeing all kind of zombies, motherfuckers, uh, 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 walking around. They activated the zombie program, and they and you start seeing motherfuckers walking around, uh, uh, uh pulling motherfuckers out their cars, biting their necks and shit. They activated the dog program. Motherfuckers wandering around this motherfucker like dogs howling and shit. They activated the Skittle program, and then they brought in, then they plugged in the Trayvon Martin, Zingerman Martin. See, Zingerman's middle name is Martin. Trayvon's last name is Martin. Martin is one of the engravements on the uh the the uh the um uh, is it's engraved on the, the stones at the Denver airport, they underground bunker. This shit is programming. You dealing with programming right here, intellectual programming. You see what I'm saying? So when they plugged in it, when they plugged in the Trayvon Martin program and aired that shit in the news. He died with a black robe on and he had a pack of Skittles. Why was they bringing in the pack of Skittles? Why was that even relevant? Relevant The pack of Skittles. Because all kind of trigger, they was, it was all kind of trigger words going on. They was activating the Skittles program, doing the whole little Trayvon Martin shit. Trayvon Martin never died. He don't even exist. It ain't even a, a real motherfucker named Tra Trayvon Martin. Zingerman don't even exist. All of them, both of them motherfuckers is holograms. They're fake. They're holograms. They're not even existing. They're they not even real. And both of them motherfuckers is working on the same team to harness your energy. To activate the Skittle program. Again, dealing with the sex, the, the root chakra, red. Why? Because sex opens up the root chakra so that the, so that the, uh, the, the EOF transmissions can take place. And you can get all kind of implants of messages, downloads of messages. You need to wake up and see what's going on, yo. So you go, so you've been seeing a lot of red. When they plugged in that bitch and she did that Illuminati ritual at the Grammys and at the music, American Music Awards, when you seen that bitch doing all of that shit, the very first after that, you start seeing shootings in publics, large crowds of motherfuckers. You start seeing police going around killing motherfuckers, doing all kind of shit. Immediately after that shit. This is all ritualistic shit. This is what's going on. You need to open up your mind, yo. You need to open up your mind. That's why I tell you, you need to develop your own language. Develop your own language. And then, if you can, learn Chinese, learn J Japanese, learn learn Spanish, motherfucker, learn, learn, um, learn a dialect, the uh, 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 old Viking dialect. And, le and learn, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, and learn, listen, you're going to want to learn Swahili. You're going to want to learn Swahili. You're going to want to learn Swahili because that's the next shift right there. It ain't French. It ain't French. French is, it ain't no more, ain't no more, ain't no more programming in switch in, 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 in French no more. Ain't no more programming. See, languages deals with how you can turn, languages deals with turning the satellites. Controlling the satellites that's on the moon and the satellites that's on the on the on the sun. It deals with programming satellites. It deals with the switching of satellites. That's what it deals with. That's what language does. Vowels are important. English ain't too much motherfucking. Uh, uh, the English language is becoming extinct. That's becoming extinct. All of the energy that was used in the English language has been burnt up. They're talking about making. Listen. That's the reason why they starting to put Spanish on all legal documents in 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 it now. Spanish has where they put English, they gotta put Spanish now. They gotta tell you what, what it means in Spanish now. Everywhere. Everywhere you go, because they realize they're ready to make the shift. Because they realize that all of the energy dealing with the English language in terms of controlling the satellites that's on the moon and in terms of controlling the satellites that's on the sun is burnt up. It ain't no more energy in that unless you know certain words of power dealing with the, the grouping up of vowels. Vowels are key words, keys to, to controlling the satellites that's on the sun and the satellites that's on the moon. And unless you know those keys, your ass is in trouble. So they already prepared to make the shift from English to Spanish. And globally, they're trying to make a shift to Chinese, they're trying to make the Chinese language the business language of the world. 
Chinese because they got a lot of C's and H's and a lot of vowels in their shit. Chin, Shin, Shink, Ching, Shan, Shon, Shin. They got a lot of U's in their shit. A lot of Y's in their shit. Sa sa sum. Sa sa sin, sin sa sa sum. They got a lot of Y's and a lot of U's in their shit. Same thing with Japan. They know how to run them satellites. They know how to control them satellites that's on the moon and them satellites that's on the sun. Same thing with Swahili. But listen, not everyone can learn Swahili. You can just learn Swahili, but that don't mean you're going to learn how to change the, 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 the language is going to work in, in your favor in changing the satellites that's on the moon and changing the satellites that's on the sun. It ain't going to work in your favor like that. No. No. That's not going to work for you. That's not going to work for you. You got to have, you got to have something inside of you. You have to already have certain atoms inside of you that are activated. Certain particles inside of you that are activated. Certain molecules inside of you that are activated. And when I talk about activated atoms, I'm talking about atoms that are supercharged with, with six neurons, six electrons, and six protons it makes up one atom. But I'm talking about supercharged and accelerated neurons. Supercharged and accelerated protons, supercharged and accelerating electrons that make up that atom. And I'm talking about in your in your physical disposition or composition, I'm talking about numerous of atoms. Numerous of atoms, not just one or two atoms, motherfucker. I'm talking about infinite atoms inside of you that's all activated and just you see what I'm saying? So you got to be ready for their ass. You got to be ready for everything that they think that they can fucking have for you. You got to be ready for that shit. Yo, you got to be ready for that shit. You got to be ready for their programs. You got to be ready for their shit. You got to use numerology against their ass. Sometimes I speak in codes. I don't even talk. Sometimes I say 1212, 11, 12 p.m., 12 a.m., ADBC. Sometimes I speak in code. I don't even, I speak in numerology. I don't even got to talk. My numerology will control the motherfucking computers and shut your shit down. You're not fucking with me, yo. Nothing that you got is ready or is sophisticated or even on my level. I can release a certain buzz inside of me that comes from the solar plex energy that'll buzz your shit out. That'll really buzz your shit smooth out, yo. And your ass will not fucking it'll it fuck with your ears and, and you will have to you will have to fucking it'll fuck with you. It'll buzz your shit out. And 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 you will have to you have to leave me alone. You have to leave out my presence. The, the reason why I separate myself from, from, from a lot of beings is because I don't want to kill a ass. That's why. It's because the energy inside of me is so vibrant, motherfucker, that you can't be around me too long. You can't. You can't. I got a buzz. This so hard that it'll fry your eyes. It automatically represents a cleansing in you. When I walk by you, motherfuckers gotta auto they gotta take a piss, they gotta take a shit, they coughing up shit, they coughing, they burping, they passing gas. I automatically represent a a, a, a purging in your eyes. You can't be around me too long. Certain entities that, that went too far into densities that are low vibrational can't be around me too fast too too long. So I'm not separating myself because I want to separate myself from you. I'm separating myself for your risk. For It's at your own risk. Being around me is at your own risk, motherfucker. I'm a satellite. I'm not a human. I'm a, I'm a subconscious satellite. That's what Moors are. Moors are navigators. They're satellites. They're satellites that navigate through different realms. Through different planets and universes and different and and bring you in or usher you into higher states of consciousness. That's what we do. I'm not a human. I'm a satellite, yo. And if I activate a certain program, that program is there. And you just gonna be dealing with that program. You just gonna be dealing with that program. You just gonna be dealing with that program. So me separating myself from you, motherfucker, is at your risk. Because I got certain high pitches inside of me. That I can project my voice in a certain way and bust your whole eardrums. I can I can give off a certain frequency from my solar plex energy 
the 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 the, the, the sends out UV rays of the sun that will blind you and fry you. I can touch I can touch you with one touch and really fry your ass. So I'm not separating myself because. I want to be a reclusive. It's because, motherfucker, I, I want you to stay alive. You know what I'm saying? I don't, want to, I don't want to kill you. I don't want your motherfucking ass to die or end up in the hospital somewhere. So it's, it's just best that you just stay where you are and I just stay where I am. Motherfuckers can't be, certain beings can't be around me too long, yo. That's real. I'm not staying locked up for, for you. I'm staying locked up, I mean, I'm for, for me. I'm staying, I stay in my own environment for you and for me, but for you, because my, I'm, look, yo, it's serious, man. One, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. This buzz going on here is serious. It's a serious buzz. And you need to come off of the race shit. You need to come off of the black against white shit. It ain't no black against white. Yo, you need to make the shift in consciousness. What you think ain't what it is. It ain't black against white. None of that. That's the harness energy. That's how these motherfuckers eat. Look, when you get caught up in the, in the, in the matrix of hate or racism, it zaps solar energy. It takes solar energy from you. That's why I don't care about certain shit. Man, I don't. If it don't apply, let it fly. You ever heard that shit? If it don't apply to you, let it fly. I don't take nothing that you say personal. So if you call me whatever name you think you can call me, I'm not taking it personal. It don't apply to me. So that shit is flying right over my head. But thank you for giving me that free energy, though. Thank you, because now you allow me into your energy field, and I will drink from every one of your emotions from now on. Whenever I feel like I need to get up and, and vamp off of your shit, I will vamp off of your mind, and I will vamp off of your emotions. Why? Because you allow me into your energy field. When you when you gave up, when you allowed me to dictate your, your thinking, your feeling, and your behavior, you became a hostage of me. You became my prisoner. You became my captive. Just like Carl Newton said, where the attention goes, the energy flows. You paid me too much attention and your energy, you gave me too much energy. Now, your energy is at, is in one of the pair, is in a, in a box that I got your ass in. So now I can go and activate a program. Now I can go and, and, and appear and, and snap my fingers a certain kind of way or, or tick my, go like that. Or look a certain kind of way and bring up and stimulate a template. Remember, I told you templates are, are they live they they're in the unconscious mind. You place templates in the unconscious mind, and and you pull up a temp template from the unconscious mind and you place it in the conscious mind, and a template is a playback memory. Every look, if you still ain't made the shift and you dealing with the human being experience, right? Then in the human being experience. Humans relate everything to the, in their presence to their past, whether they, they relate it productively or whether they do it destructively. Just like you can give a child an apple and tell a child to, to, to bite the apple, they're going to bite the apple and then they automatically going to be like, oh, okay, it's round, it's an apple, so everything round is an apple. You can take the apple and give them a ball, what they going to do? That through the productive word of comparison, they're gonna natu they're gonna naturally bite the ball. Why? Because they they're associating this ball with something that they already have a prerequisite memory of. They're pivoting off of a a, a, a past experience, a template, a a, a a a memory from their past. Through the productive word of comparison, they're comparing this ball that you've given them with the apple that you've given them. It looks round. It's red like an apple. I'm going to bite it and see if it's, if it's an apple. And they bite it and they figure out that it ain't an apple. And then you got to show them how to, how, to, how to throw the ball and bounce it and, and roll it. And that it's a ball. And then once they comprehend that, you give them something else. You know what I'm saying? This round, they're going to they're gonna first bite it to see if it's an apple. If it ain't an apple, they're going to throw it on the ground and bounce it or try to roll it to see if it's a ball. And if it don't do none of that, then they're going to figure out what that shit is. And then you tell them this is not... None of that, that. It's a rock. This is a rock. And this is what rocks do. So everything that happens with the human experience, they relate everything in their presence 
to things of, that they know of in their past, whether it's the productive art of comparison or whether it's the destructive art of comparison. So the key to getting into motherfuckers energetic fields is that once they give up their initial power by getting upset with you or whatever else, they give up their initial power. You're in now. Your ass is in. Now you got to you got to set up a template so that so that whenever you come in that motherfucking presence and you just want to drink or vamp off of their energy, you just activate a program. You, you, you go into their unconscious mind because you're already connected with them. You're already tethered in with their ass. You go into their unconscious mind and you pull up a template and you place it in their conscious mind. And the motherfuckers don't, they don't know that when you, when they get around you, why all of a sudden they angry. Why all of a sudden, oh shit, here come this motherfucker. Oh shit. And they cuss and they don't realize what's going on. But through the destructive art of comparison, see humans relate everything in their presence to the shit that goes on in their past. So if they already had a, 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 a topsy-turvy or disagreeable kind of encounter with you in the past, then every time that they see you in their presence, if they haven't made the shift in consciousness and begin to evolve into something greater than that stagnation or that, that, that density, then they're going to continue to view you as they viewed you in the past. So that's your key. That's your key in. I don't give a fuck how you look at me, how you feel about me, none of that. You're just giving me free energy. That's all I don't give a fuck, whatever. If you want to hate me, bring it, motherfucker. Just like, look, just like Nas said, he did a song. He said, you can hate me now. He said, he said, he said, you can hate me now, but I won't stop now. You can hate me now. But I won't stop now. You can hate me now. But I won't stop now. He letting you know you can hate me. You're just giving me energy. Listen, I need a, a, I need a, 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 at least 20 more motherfucking haters just so I can get further into the cosmos with my next project. Any volunteers? Any motherfuckers that want to volunteer to give me some free energy? Because listen, when you think of me or when you worried about me, or when you, you're just giving energy, you're, I'm taking that, your energy is coming to me, don't you know, I don't worry about people, that's the program, I don't fucking worry about you, why, because you're making your own choices, and your own decisions, and you live in your own reality, and if I send my thoughts over there, and my angels, or my animals, or my spirit guides, or my ancestors to protect you, that's it, I trust you on your journey, and I trust my elite spirit guides, that's it. I'm not going to sit up here and spend my day worrying about you. <gasps> That's slavery. That means I'm a slave. That means I'm a captive. I've created my own prison of worry. And I'm sitting here thinking about you all day. And then that's what's keeping me in, dor in, in, in dormant. That's keeping me in bondage. Now I can't fulfill the shit that I want to fulfill in my life because I'm worried about you. Fuck that. I don't worry about people. I don't think about people. Nigga, 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 one, 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 two, two, two. I don't think about people. I don't worry about people. I don't fear. I don't fear. I don't do none of that. All of those is programs. I don't have, I don't have no time for none of that shit. I don't even give a fuck about you. If I, if I even acknowledge you, it's because, it's, it's because out of my own free will. Cause I'm up on all of your shit. I'm up on your programming. I'm up on. I'm up on I'm up on your your tones and vibrations, your color schemes, your numerology. I'm up on all of that shit. I'm up on every trigger word. I'm up on all of that. I see through your personas. I see through the illusion. I see through the veil. I see who you are for who you are. If you a snake, I see your snake. I don't see your human persona. I see your snake. If you are a dragon, I see your dragon. If you are a robot, I see your robot. Period. I just see you for who you are. Whatever entity, whatever alien, whatever, whatever the fuck you are. I see you for who you are. Period. Everything is a program. Everything. Angel, that's a program. The angel program. Demons, that's a program. The demon program. You're just dealing with two type of energies. Everything is a program. Alien, celestial, all that shit is programs. None of that shit matters. It's just what matters is who got the best programs. That's who is the most powerful is in the universe. Those who are dealing with the most intelligence. That's why I'm telling you. 
You need to develop intelligence to where your shit supersedes they shit. Nothing that you can say is stronger than my programs. You can say, hey, dealing with the straw man. And I'm going to say hi, meaning I'm above that shit. You can say hello, saying come into my world. Dealing with the Leviathan entity. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna say hello. No, you come into my world dealing with the Leviathan entity. Or I might say hi, or I might not even acknowledge that. You see what I'm saying? It's all kind of different ways. Listen, you can say whatever. You can say, bruh, hi, uh, mister, sir. None of those prefixes, dog. I got programs for all of that. You call me a nigga, you calling me royal. You call me a dog, you calling me God. You call me God, you calling me. I got something for all of that. You, you, cause your intelligence, you don't know where the original word for dog come from. You don't know the original word of bitch. You don't know the original word of witch. You don't know none of this shit. So you just going off of some shit that they programmed you with. But my intelligence supersedes your program handler's intelligence. Therefore, when you come around as a minion or a weapon against me, dude, you just, you just sharing with me your energy and your intel and you just and you're helping me develop more stronger shit a uh, dude i'm way more sinister than you i'm way more sincere than you i deal with moon energy i am the moon i am the satellites of the moon that's the whole thing when i show up it's a judgment i'm the solar energy of the sun when i show up there's a judgment that's it that's when i show up it's because it's a judgment i am the satellites I'm a subconscious satellite. That's who I am. Period. I'm a subconscious satellite. And I'm programming the world to see the world for what it really is, yo. That's it. Yo shit ain't... You, you, you're not fucking with me, yo. Nothing that you can do is stronger than me. If you use the water element, I will become the water element and I will not work for you. If you use the sick element, I will become the healing. I will become every ingredient in that sick program. And then allow it to be dormant. You can't fuck with me. Why? Because consciousness rules everything. Consciousness rules everything. Consciousness does. You see what I'm saying? Consciousness rules everything. So if I'm consciously aware of what you're doing, and trust me, with a third eye activated, I will be consciously aware of what's going on. And then I just use alchemy. It's just it, de it deals with alchemy at this point. Energy will just change its form. I will consciously become. If you consciously become a wolf, I will consciously become Wolfbane. If you consciously become a, a vampire, I will consciously become Vervain. If you consciously become a a, a a snake, I will consciously become a honey badger. To eat your snake up, or I will consciously become a snake. That's dealing with a snake way more venomous than your snake. If you consciously become an eagle, I will consciously become a nega. If you consciously become a nega, I will consciously look. You can't fuck with me, yo. You you yo yo shit. Your programs is not fucking with me, yo. If you consciously become sick, I will consciously become every ingredient in that sick program, and then allow that energy to go flat. Or I will consciously become the healing program. Your shit is not fucking with me, yo. Energy will change its form. And I will change the energy in this body will spread and evolve into something else. Dealing with consciousness. Because listen, consciousness is God. Consciousness is God. Well, my consciousness is I'm not speaking that into your consciousness. Because you're not better than me. But if, if, I, if my consciousness tells my mind to tell my body to move his arm and my, and my, and my body moves his arm, then that last lets you know that my body is being led by my mind and my mind is being dictated or governed by my consciousness. Therefore, my consciousness is God. So then if I was to look down on the ground and my consciousness tells my mind to tell my body to move his arm and my body moves his arm, but yet I fuck around and look on the ground. And I see a shadow, which is a reflection of my human body, right? And I see the sh my shadow body on the ground move his arm the same way that my body moved his arm, but in a different dimensional um, angle, right? Then what is that telling you? That's telling you that the conscious mind also controls the shadow body. Your consciousness controls everything. So, so I can spread my energy, become a shadow, 
and use my consciousness to dictate and determine my shadow body. That's what I'm telling you. I have endless bodies, yo. I have endless bodies. I have about, I have so many. Listen, I train my shadow bodies to, to, to I train my shadow bodies with density. So therefore, my shadow bodies knows how to write. My shadow bodies knows how to read. My shadow bodies knows how to pick up objects. My shadow body knows how to open up doors. I'm sophisticated. Look, I look, turn on the light. And, and and look, with my mind, I see a shadow right here on the wall. Right? I see the shadow on the wall. And my shadow was gonna reach. Not not my body, but the, the reflection. My shadow was gonna reach for the doorknob and turn it. Not my physical, not my physical body but my shadow was going to turn the doorknob and open up the doorknob when i write sometimes i'm building up power for my shadow body i'm creating density for my shadow bodies my my shadow bodies are, are creating i'm giving my shadow body density powers so that not only can my shadow body walk through the wall but my shadow body can actually civil civ civilly open up the door now can civilly pick up a piece of paper or pick up a desk or pick up a chair or pick up the, the building because I'm training my shadow bodies now. So you got to You got to use your consciousness. Your consciousness is God. If, if listen, the link between the mind and the body is a brainwave called the sensor motor rhythm. All right. That's the that's the link between the, the mind and the body. So if my consciousness tells my mind to tell its body to move its arm and my body moves its arm, then the very link between the mind and the body and the communication, the, 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 the line of communication between the energy between the, the mind and the body is the, the, the SMR, the sensor, the sensory motor rhythm. That's the link. You see what I'm saying? So not only have I not only have I strengthened my consciousness with creating other bodies but I've also e developed a stronger sensory motor rhythm I'm using a whole different rhythm I don't even use that link that brain link right there the sensory motor rhythm I be I everything has to take an evolution process I've evolved into something greater than that I'm on some way greater than that Man, I'm using something way greater than a sensory motor rhythm brainwave. I don't, I have a softwares, programs where I block off the beta brainwaves and I get on my five brainwave, which is a whole entirely different brainwave that I've used. I can switch from beta brainwave to alpha brainwave to lower alpha brainwave to theta brainwave to gamma brainwave to delta brainwave to sensory motor uh, rhythm brainwave to five brainwave, just like that. I can keep all brain waves going. I can intertwine brain waves. I can shut one brain wave off, turn another brain wave on, and make you think that I and activate a certain consciousness in the delta brain wave to make you think that I'm still using that brain wave and be on my better brain waves, looking down on your eyes. It's all kind of shit that you can do. You just need to, for lack of knowledge, God's people are perishing. Knowledge gives you power. Knowledge gives you freedom. Knowledge gives you enlightenment. Enlightenment makes you God. Enlightenment makes you so way more sovereign than God. You need to wake up, man. I'm better than you. I'm faster than you. I'm quicker than you. I'm stronger than you. I'm more wiser than you. You cannot fuck with me. Your shit, your programs, none of that shit that you kicking, all that shit that you kicking is weak to me, yo. All that shit. So we talking about programming. So when you talk about Michael Jackson who bought the rights to all of the Beatles material, he owns that material. He didn't own it. He owns it. He's not dead. He's alive. Energy never dies. It only changes forms. He ain't dead. He's very alive. And Michael Jackson still controls those intellectual properties. And that's the reason why you didn't see a lot more Helter Skelter shit coming out. Because he controls those properties. And he's not allowing those mind controls. Listen, the Beatles came out of the, 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 the Tapestock Institution dealing with mind control programming. So so when they plugged in the bitch Nicki Minaj, 
when the Illuminati, so-called Illuminati plugged in the bitch Nick, Nicki Minaj, right? And they, uh, when they plugged her in, right? And she did the little punk ass ritual. When she did the little punk ass ritual at the MTV Awards and um and at the uh American Music Awards, um and at the Grammy Awards, and she had the Pope. Remember? And then when all the magazines, she had the Pope holding her hand, walking her down the stairs. Remember that? And he had the red. That's dealing with the that's dealing with the committee of three hundred. That's an Illuminati ritual. That's that was the Pope. It's called a Committee of 300, the Red Robe Ritual. Underneath the Committee of 300 is the Black Robes. And underneath that is the White Robes. And the White is the so-called Illuminati. The White Robes is the so-called Illuminati. Listen, Black shirts. You wonder why people do a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of dirt when they when people go and do their dirt and they wear all black. You wonder why they wearing all black? Do you want to know why they wear all black clothing when they go and do shit? It's because black it it does not allow you to be detected. It's like your stealth. When you wear all black, that's your stealth. That's why when you see real gangsters, I ain't talking about fake motherfuckers is mind controlling and shit, but when you see real gangsters, they wear all black. Every day they wearing all black. They dress code is all black. It's an all black situation with them. Because they in that lane. That's what they do. They monsters. And they gangsters. That's it. They're in all black. Every day that they dress code is black. Because they're doing shit that requires them to be off of the radar. What they're doing requires them to be off of the radar. They fucking. They stealing out of banks. They stealing out of stores. They doing all kind of dirt. They killing motherfuckers. They doing all kind of shit. And that requires them to go undetected. Black. Well, the satellites that's on the sun and the satellites on the moon can't pick up on black. That's why the melanin in your skin is so important. The melanin in your skin is important, yo. The melanin in your skin is important. That's why black. Black, dark skin. Dark skin. The melanin in your skin is very important. It's super important. People who are dark skinned, you don't know how gifted you are to be dark skinned. Just being dark skinned is a huge dude. Do you know how fortunate you are to be dark skinned? You are very fortunate to be dark skinned. Very fortunate. Very, very fortunate to be dark skinned. You're very fortunate to be dark skinned. You have a strong melon. That means whatever the fuck you want to do in this. Listen, if you had the right MK Ultra Mind Control programmers. See, the thing is, you got program handlers. You got program handlers for sure. But if you had the right program handlers, you can do whatever the fuck you wanted to do. If you had me, if I was, listen, if I if I trained you, look, if I just trained you for one, for, for one month, just one month being with a master like me, I'm a master of the universe. Just one month being with a master. Your whole life will change. Your shit will be on the next level. I'm talking about next level shit. Next level shit. Next level shit. I don't give a fuck what kind of genre or wherever you are in. Your programs got to be stronger than that shit. If you if you're going to be doing so-called criminal behavior. See criminal. When you talk about criminal. That's a cold word too. When they say criminal. They talking about. Melanated brothers. They're talking about certain machines. They're talking about certain machines. Certain machines. That have melanated skin. I'm a machine. You a machine. You just program with a fucking human anatomy. You program with the human program. But that shit is stupid, y'all. Ain't no human nothing going on. Ain't too many motherfucking humans left. Yo, that's real. Ain't too many motherfucking humans left at all. That's real talk. I don't shit. You better wisen up and rising up. You better rock well uh um uh, rising up and wisen up. So the way you counter the red is you wear all black. 
That's why motherfuckers go and kill wearing all black. That's why motherfuckers go and so-called steal wearing all black. They're wearing all black clothing. They're wearing all black clo clothing. Because wearing all black, it don't allow no fucking programs to go off. Nothing. You can go into a store wearing all fucking black and walk out with all of the sensories and all of the tags on that motherfucking shit. And that shit won't go off at all. It won't go off because it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. It's all dealing with consciousness. If you can turn on the consciousness and turn off the consciousness. If you go into that store like motherfucker, I ain't stealing shit. This, this land is mine. I'm going to taking this shit. And you wearing all black. You go into that motherfucking store. You can have all the beepers on it that you want to. When you come out of that motherfucker, ain't nothing going to beep. Because beeping deals with your consciousness. If you feel like you stealing, yeah, it's going to beep. And if you wearing colors that's going to activate those satellites, yeah, it's going And another thing, them cameras, that's fake ass shit. All of that fake ass, that's fake ass shit. Ain't none of that shit going on, man. They ain't got that technology. What you think they got, they ain't got. They ain't, they not as sophisticated as you think. None of this shit is sophisticated as you think, yo. You thinking that they got top-notch sophistication technology and every store got cameras? Them motherfucking, that's fake ass shit. Them cameras don't exist. Ain't nobody behind none of that shit. It's all right here. It's all dealing with your consciousness. If you give if you give space to the idea that the motherfuckers got cameras, then then it's gonna create mass matter and, and they're gonna have cameras. You give space to the idea that the motherfuckers just tacked on the wall and that, that shit don't matter, then that shit ain't gonna matter. It's a mind over matter thing. Can you turn on and can you turn off your consciousness? Period. That's why you got people who get away with, with killing. Because they don't look at that shit like it's murder. They look at that shit like I'm doing a great justice to this earth. I'm banishing your energy because you don't need to be on this earth. So listen. Some of you can keep the same per per perception but change the frame. And it should have looked a whole lot different. Or some of y'all just need to change the whole perception all the way around the board. Because realities are created when we accept that which we perceive. So you're dealing with perception and you're dealing with framework. Because they can give you a perception and it may appear as being one thing. But it really ain't that unless you accept it. And then if you accept it, then that becomes your reality. That becomes your reality. See what I'm saying? So they can present a perception to you, right? And this is how they do a lot of tricking too. They can present a perception to you, right? And then you can be like, nah, I choose not to proceed that. I don't accept that. And then they'll just reframe the same ass perception, but reframe it and give it back to you. And then you'd be like, yeah, I accept that. But nah, you, you can't accept that. No, I don't accept that. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't accept that. And no, it's not okay. You see what I'm saying? Because you didn't get that. And I didn't give it to you. And this is the Free Real Free Choice Universe. And Mirror Effect. I'm rubbing your glue. Bounces off of me and sticks onto you. One, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. So mode it be. So we're dealing with we're dealing with perception. And it's and it's simple. It's it's because look, you can have the same picture, and the picture just look fucking stupid, but put it in the right kind of frame. And it bring out the picture a lot more better. So we're dealing with perception and framing. Some of you, some of you got the re the right perception, the right outlook on things, but you just gotta frame it a little different. So that it, it, it customly is more agreeable to you. It's more it's more agreeable. You gotta change the way you speak. You gotta stop saying I'm going to sleep. I'm waking up. You gotta stop saying that shit. I'm always awakened. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to sleep. I wasn't asleep. I was I was subconscious. I'm never asleep. Sleep is a pro is a trigger word. Sleep is a trigger word that activates the MK Ultra Mind Control programming. All of this shit, you gotta wake up, yo. Nega, 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 one 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 two 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 three three three. Hiki! Nega, nega, nega. 
Remember when you see the the the, the Native Americans and they and they and they the Native Americans they they used to be like Remember when they used to go to war and shit or you you would see the so-called uh uh Africans but their Lord you kill your side you would start seeing them when they get ready to go to war with their spears they sing them songs and shit and they do those tents they're dealing with their programming the computer they're programming the matrix they're programming the sun and the moon and they're evoking warrior them satellites yo you need to wake up and see what's going on you have to wake up and see what's going on all of that shit that human shit I'm not no fucking human that's I, I might be if I if I need to be a human to do whatever I need to do I, I can be I can be a human that shit is a program. That's a program. A lot of you motherfuckers ain't human. A lot of y'all robots. You just think you human. That shit is a, a program, y'all. I'm not. I don't. I don't have that program. I mastered the program, but I'm. I am whatever I say I am. That's what. Look, that motherfucking rapper Slim said. He said, "I am whatever I say that I am." And if I wasn't, then why would I say that I am? Newspapers and reporters always say that I am. Listen. He letting you know right there. You are whatever you say you are. Whatever you attach your I am to, that's what you are. Nigga, nigga, nigga. They're just realizing this shit and they're calling it the God particle. That's what they're calling it. Whether you call that shit God particle, whether you call that shit. Uh, your birthright, whether you call that shit you being the chosen one or the elite or the Buddha or the Christ or whatever. It is what it is. Whatever you attach your I am to, that's who you are. If I say I am water, I am no longer human. I am the element of water. If I say I am fire, I am no longer fire. I am the element of fire. I am whatever I attach my I am to. Just like in your slave ass Bible. If you look in the Old Testament, when the Elohim contacted Moses and told him to go into, you know what I'm saying, Egypt and tell it to Pharaoh, let my people go. When he said, who do I say? Who do I tell him sent me? He said, I am that I am. Tell him, I am that I am sent me. Sent you. <laughs> when he went in there and he told Pharaoh, listen, let my people go. He said, who are you? He said, I am that I am. Said, all right, prove it then. You gotta show and prove your shit. So the so the so the so the Pharaoh's Egyptians lined up and they threw their staffs on the ground and that shit turned into snakes. And Moses was like, Oh shit, I told you I am. Whatever I said it I am. He threw his shaft on the ground and this shit turned into a snake and ate they snakes up. Then he clapped his hands and that shit turned back into a fucking staff. Threw it up and it turned into a bird. He was doing all kind of shit. Because you are whatever you attach your I am to. I am whatever I attach my I am to. You need to activate your imagination, yo. And when you activate your imagination, you come into a different realm. It's a spiritual realm. Somebody, I was in, I was somewhere and somebody the other day told me, he said, listen, I see you. I'm like, what? He said, I see you. The mark of God on your forehead, I see you. He said, I want to help you. It's mystical shit, yo. It's mystical. I'm like, what you mean? He said, yo, I'm going to teach you something. And he brought me and he, and he taught me a few things. It's mystical. When you come into this new realm, when you raise your vibrations up high enough, you start activating your consciousness and you become consciously aware of shit and you start using your imagination, you step into a whole nother realm, yo. It's a mystical realm and then those mystical beings see you. And they get familiar with you and acquainted with you. And some embrace you and teach you and some motherfuckers try to vamp your shit. And those motherfuckers, you just collect their energy while you on your journey and you just go on. Because shit, I got, I got so many programs for your eyes. You're not fucking with me, dude. Whatever you think that you got, it ain't potent enough. Whatever you got is not potent enough for me. It is not potent enough for me at all period whatever you got it ain't strong enough for me 
It ain't strong enough for me, yo. Whatever you got, it ain't, it ain't working. It won't work. It won't work. It shall not work. You need to wake up, man.